So one really important topic in units is the idea of a unit vector. And all a unit vector is, is a vector with length 1. Now, there's some special notation for unit vectors. If you have a unit vector u, instead of writing an, uh, this half arrow on top of the u, you'll often see it expressed as u hat. That's how this is read, u hat, with a little caret on top of it. So here are two special unit vectors, i hat and j hat. i hat is, has components 1, 0, and j hat has components 0, 1. Now, any vector can be written in terms of i and j. For example, the vector 4, negative 3 can be written as 4, 0 plus 0, negative 3. And this is exactly 4 times i, 4 i hat plus, and this is negative 3 times j. And I can actually write minus 3j. So this is how you would write this vector 4, negative 3 as a linear combination of the unit vectors i and j. And this is often the way vectors are expressed in math classes, science, engineering. So let's do that for a bunch of vectors. Let's express in terms of the unit vectors i and j. Now, you'll be able to see how these are expressed in terms of i and j pretty quickly. But just to remind you, you break it up so that you've got the, uh, the horizontal component by itself and 0, and then 0 and the vertical component. And then this is exactly 6 times i hat plus, and this is exactly 13 times j hat. And then here, I won't bother to separate these. You can probably tell that this is negative 9 times i hat plus 0 times j hat, which is just negative 9 i hat. It's not necessary to write the plus 0. Now here, you'd want to multiply this out and simplify before you converted to i and j form. So let me distribute this uh, scalar multiple. 2 times 8 gives me 16. 2 times negative 11, negative 22, minus. 3 times 5 is 15. And 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. So subtracting, I get 16 minus 15, or 1. Negative 22 minus negative 24 is my negative 22 plus 24. So that's 2. And this becomes i, right? 1 times i is i, plus 2j. Right, and that's it. That's, uh, these are two uh, different but very closely related forms for vectors. You, want, you can write them in component form or as linear combinations of the unit vectors i and j.